Um, basically, what we did right here was what we called Ichiban Dashi. That's Ichiban meaning number one dashi is a star. Ichiban Dashi is using the purest ingredients. Now what we can do with the, the kelp and the, the bonito that we've um, made the stock from is put it into another pot and boil for about two hours. Um, and that's where we get Niban Dashi, number two. And that's made for other like soups, rougher soups. Um, this is more of a very sensitive um, type of stock bring out the other flavors of everything else. I just heard a very keen word, Vegemite is very high. You know what, Vegemite, I love it. People, even the Aussies look at me and says, shoot, you're crazy. But it reminded me of miso. And uh, I was gonna try to make a Vegemite soup using dashi. When you taste these, ask yourself which is, first, I think the most important is, Put um, umami aside, which tastes better to you, A or B? B. 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 And then figure out which has umami in it. <laughs> so hopefully this meat, little miso demonstration of miso and water and miso and dashi will tell you the difference and help you understand or um, at least kind of give you guys a different insight on umami itself. What umami has done is actually, it makes us, the chefs, before we didn't want to study glutamate, isonate, and guinate. We're just like, we dropped out of university so we can cook because we didn't like to study this guy. Now because of tastes like umami, which is so hard to describe just by common words, we're driven back and we're actually forced to study these things. Um, it's, what's happened is like Heston Blumenthal at the Fat Duck is one of the leaders in Umami. Um, they're really studying, breaking down the food as more of a, a science instead. It's not like eat it, chew, <coughs> swallow. It's eat, chew seven times, spray this, chew another 10 times, swallow it, boom. Do you feel that flavor? I've got a chef friend in Canada who's now sponsored by NASA. Um, and he's got a laser in his kitchen with a little red siren. <laughs> and all he does is he uh, lasers vanilla beans underneath the wine glass and basically explodes the vanilla essence into the glass. So now he's playing with the aroma of the vanilla and then the taste within the wine glass. So it's become very scientific. Um, I was telling Kimiko and all the other Umami people, can't you guys just give me a little piece of paper that I can stick on a fish and say, wow, this is high in glutamate. Because like the little pH litmus paper, and they're like, no, there's nothing like that yet. But we're like always studying. We're like, is this snapper better than this snapper? Is this beef better than this beef? Um, and it's, we can't just, oh yeah, it's red. This one's darker red. This one's got a little bit more fat. It's better. Now it's become, it's better because it's higher in umami, which is higher in glutamate, isonate, and it's become all these things where I thought I would never bring back after my college years, and I'm just saying, thank God I studied a little bit. <laughs> Who enjoyed A? <laughs> higher? Who enjoyed B? <laughs> now, for those, everybody with B still keep their hands up. Do you think you enjoyed B because of umami? Or dashi, I'm sorry, which has umami in it. <laughs> Who thinks the umami was an A? Wow, mix. Uh, the <laughs> B is the one with umami, that's the one with dashi in it. Um, so, if you got that right, congratulations. If you like A better, don't worry about that. It's got the same taste. Um, that's about it for me. If there's any other questions, uh, I'm sitting here. Uh, we've got Sue, which has got the best part of the evening, I think. That's where the alcohol coming in, so uh, enjoy that. 
and uh, speak to you guys later. Thank you very much, guys.